Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review channel. In this video, I've created a small cable-free PC, laptop and smartphone setup for you. Let me just talk about it because I count three setups. I am right now connected my S22 Ultra smartphone to a 4K monitor and I've opened up a YouTube channel that I create also videos for. And I also opened a playable game and I can also play other games like Call of Duty and some other first person shooters like PUBG. So I can be using my keyboards and my mouse and I will be more precise than anyone using their fingers. I'm not a gamer, just I just wanna let you know you can play FPS games and competitive games much more easily. How I do that? I have a screen as you see, I have a suspension arm behind it and that way I can adjust the height and I can also vertical and horizontal positions I can use this and I can take the monitor out in this position cover the table so if I want to watch the movie I can sit close and take the monitor to my face and it will be a bigger screen for me because of my getting close in position other than that I have two small speakers and one uh, docking station and a microphone all these connected a type c uh, hub and type c hub as you can see connected to my s22 ultra smartphone and a type c hub that i use is a dark brand and it has sd micro sd uh, card slots so i can uh, upload my photos from my phone or take the photos from the card to my phone if, uh, while i use my cameras time to time and uh, also, I can uh, create backup from any device that I have. Underneath, I have also PC right now. I don't show it here, but in the studio, I have other PCs. So I put my PC here. I can take the backup of the PC, backup of my laptop, and I can also backup my phone after travel photos and videos that I shoot. So this setup could be used three ways. Hassle that I've gone through, as you can see, no cables below and up top, you don't see many cables. We managed to hide the cables all around. How we do that? Let's just start from the beginning. You'll see the fast paced visuals that I installed it. This is an IKEA table and behind the IKEA table, I took a six port uh, power multiplier cable and then I just open it up and drew two holes to it and also double sided tape and installed it below the table and after that I screwed it to the table so it's very sturdy and then I purchased a two centimeters to two centimeters cable canal which can be opened easily and uh, bottom of it it has double sided tape so I took the tape out and uh, before that of course I measured it and cut it uh, right from the start of our power units and to the edge of the table and I just sticked it. Uh, this canal is only purpose is to hide the cables. Other than that there is no purpose in the canal so it doesn't hold too much of weight but if your cables are larger and if you have to use a larger canal to uh, prevent any cable look around so you can also drill a couple of holes to the cable management uh, this canal and then uh, put some screws to the table too. You can apply similar things to any table but I've chosen IKEA white one and this setup is white wall, white uh, table, white legs as you can see and also our power cable and the canal is white and I have also white uh, zippers right now I'm going to show the black zippers these zippers are zip tights for the cables and you probably know these these are quite cheap and probably this is one 1.5 dollar for let's just say hundred of them in my country so it's quite cheap so I zip the cables to the monitor arm and it is becoming cleaner behind it and after that we bought white zippers to zip the power cable to the leg and also we zip the cables and you don't see any cables uh, from the front and what we have done we tried the cables all around and zipped them up and created this cool setup the type c adapter took a time to understand where to place the cables and i also add type c to type c female to male extender to reach out easily to my laptop and my um, smartphone because their main purposes we use a small type c adapter 
and the cable was small like probably 15 centimeters for for this setup i used another 40 centimeters of extender but if you are going to use it down below the pc so you could go for one meter and above extenders I believe I've covered everything. I just want to make this video short as possible. You'll uh, go back. You can go back and watch the installation. Uh, and if you have any question, you can ask me. And I will put the descriptions uh, of these products down below. Links of these products. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, probably I will show you my home setup. This is the small studio setup. I will show even smaller, more compact, just the laptop and couple of stuff that I use at home because I don't have too much of a space. Who is this space or work uh, place for? If, you're go if you are on a budget and if you want to create good setup for your PC or your laptop or your smartphone, this is a good way to go. And if you uh, can't extend your table, because if you can extend, you can, I recommend definitely go for two monitors rather than one monitor or go, go as big as you can for the monitor. And if you can't, if you don't have the budget, this is a way to go. You can change the adapter that I use and the type C location. There are more advanced adapters with more USB sockets, more visual outputs, and also more type C connections, etc. etc. So you can extend the what you have with the type C adapters. There are a huge amount of choices that you can make, but the price go up. The power cable we choose, it was laying around at the office at the studio. So I chose this that one. You can go um, secure one, power button. Uh, with a power button and also USB power ports that will also increase the uh, uh, of course the budget of it but if you go that route you can close all the devices that you have with one click of a button below your table like that and it's a good thing to have uh, for safety when you're sleeping and when you're out of home and if you have power ports for USB you can charge your devices from USB that's a good thing to do but I recommend to go as much low as possible for the budget so the table is shaky this is an ikea table and this is a table of uh, with white legs these metal white legs are also ikea ikea and they are shaky because they are four separate legs how can you uh, prevent shakiness you can adjust l arms and one drew one hole to the table and drew one hole to the uh, wall and if you have two L arms to connect it to the wall, this table will be sturdy as a rock. But you can always change legs. IKEA we are talking about. You have a lot of options. So if you choose something better and go above, a little bit above the price, you can create a similar slim, slick uh, design like this. And if you like the idea of being compact with, uh, without any cables, just let me know. And if you have alternatives, just send the links down below. Maybe we can consider an upgrade, a setup in another day, in another video. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.